Hi everyone, this is Tommy Ajit this side. Welcome back to another video in my channel. Today's video is last video last continuation hai, wherein I will be discussing about the expectation that any hiring manager, the expectation that any engineering manager at top tech companies have from people joining their teams, be it at the level of an SDE intern, at the level of an SDE1, SDE2, SDE3 and so on and so forth. Obviously, it's a disclaimer. It is my own personal views and opinions that I will be sharing through this particular video. After having talked with multiple engineering managers, hiring managers, recruiters and so on and so forth from different companies I have at least it know that a basic set of expectations to hoti hai sabke dimag mein from anyone who is trying to join these companies at different levels and in this particular video I will talk all about that so that whenever you do decide to come here, you do decide to join any of these companies because the expectations are generally similar across different companies. You perform better, as simple as that. So if you are someone who wants to know from a hiring manager, from an engineering manager of a topic company as to what all uh, are the expectations across different roles, across different levels, then this is the correct video for you. Do watch this video till the end because I have told you everything in detail in every level. Plus, I have told you that if you want to convert to another level or promote to another level, then what will you need to do for that so that you can do it? I really hope that you like this video. If you do, then hit the like button. The like target of this video is 1.5,000 likes. Uh, share this video among the friends and peers. It will definitely help them a lot. And subscribe to the channel if you have not already and hit the notification bell. Kis ka kar rahe ho. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, now, before starting, I want to introduce a very special application that has recently been made by an academy with you guys. The application is known as Next Level, and Next Level ne pure coding ko gamify kar diya hai. And not only this, Next Level has also tied up with a lot of leading product-based companies to provide job opportunities for all of the people who will be present on their particular platform. Ye saari jo bade bade companies hai. वो अपने आप से तो किसी को भी जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज नहीं दे देगी राइट उसके लिए नेक्स्ट लेवल ने अपने इस प्लेटफॉर्म को क्रिएट किया है जहां पे आप अपने स्किल्स को प्रॉपर्ली शोकेस कर सकते हैं इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एप्लीकेशन यू कैन कंपीट विद अदर पीपल हु विल बी प्रेजेंट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर एप्लीकेशन इन वन टू वन कोडिंग मैचेस जितना आप खेलोगे जितना आप कॉन्टेस्ट दोगे उस हिसाब से आपकी रेटिंग इंक्रीज होगी उस हिसाब से आपकी प्रोफिशियंसी इंक्रीज होगी एंड करस्पॉन्डिंगली यू विल बी एबल टू शो your skills to all of the companies that are present i have linked the app uh, link in the description below so go ahead and download and enter a whole new experience of coding so intezar kiska kar raha fata fata se download karo install karo pura free hai platform job opportunities available hai bahut sare companies ke sath already tied up hai to apan is particular video ko char hisson mein baatenge we will talk about sd intern we will talk about sd1 sd2 and then finally sd3 as well as we will also discuss after reach level what is it that is required to be done by you so that you can get promoted to the next level. To start off, we will talk about SDE interns. Generally, SDE interns, jo hote hai, they are mostly college students who are either have completed their third year or are currently pursuing their fourth year of engineering. From an SDE intern point of view, uh, we see that typically there are two kinds of SDE interns that uh, join any company. One is known as a summer intern, uh, who are basically, you know, uh, college students who have just completed their third year and do their internship for two months. And then there is another something which is known as a winter intern per se and they are those people who are doing an internship for 4-5 months in any company mein. typically in their 7th semester that is 4th year now the expectations hai, out of a 2 month intern and out of a 6 month intern is different definitely from a 2 month intern perspective right this means that she doesn't have much of anything and since she or she does not have a good exposure of how things work in big tech companies per se as well as do not have much exposure on the tech stack as well as the internal toolings of these companies a lot of hand holding will be required as a result if you are 2 months intern kar rahe hai kahi par, and you want to get converted from a PPO perspective uh, you want to get converted to a full time employee then your support that you get from your mentor is and will become very very important the more supportive mentor you get the easier is your conversion typically 
uh, your mentor will be uh, working with you and helping you out as much as possible so from an expectation perspective right as an sd intern the expectation is bare minimum for a two months intern however for a six month sd intern definitely expectations zyada hoti hai and this is purely because it is considered that since you have six months you will be given enough time to understand the internal toolings you will be given enough context to understand your projects as well as all of the things that you need to learn for the project so that you can execute it perfectly in the given time since aapke paas ek six month intern ke samay time zyada hota hai to prove yourself correspondingly jo hand holding aapko milegi ya jo help aapko milegi directly as a two month intern वो हेल्प आप एक्सपेक्ट नहीं कर सकते दैट यू विल गेट एज अक्स मंथ सेंटर डेफिनेटली यू विल बी असाइंड अ मेंटर बट दैट मेंटर विल लूजली गाइड यू इन योर इनिशियल डेज बट आफ्टर सम टाइम लेट्स से अ मंथ मंथ एंड हाफ यू विल बी द सोल ओनर ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट दैट यू आर डूइंग इन फैक्ट एज अक्स मंथ सेंटर कई कई बार तो आप खुद के प्रोजेक्ट पे डिजाइन भी करते हैं एंड देन इंप्लीमेंट करते हैं As a result, the expectation is remarkably higher than that of a two-month intern. अब ये अपन बात करेंगे for the role of SD one. Uh, generally, for the role of SD one, right? Uh, the general years of experience that is required vary somewhere between you know zero to two to three years of experience. उसी के around generally अगर आप किसी भी ऐसे company में apply करोगे तो आपको SD one वाला role ही मिलेगा. So it doesn't mean that everyone will get that. Obviously, people can get and have also gotten uh, SD two and above roles. as well at a lesser uh, experience for sure as an sd1 who is coming in uh, right if you are a new grad if you are who, someone who has just graduated from university you are joining a company as a fresher then the expectations are remarkably lesser in comparison to an industry experienced person who is joining the company at the level of an sd1 from a fresher it is obviously expected that uh, you as an sd1 uh um, joining directly all right after the college will not have much information about how the corporate world works how the big tech companies work what all things are required to be learned for the job to be done and so on and so forth the basic expectation here is that the person who is joining the company as an sd1 will be adept enough to understand what all things are required to be learned what all things are required to be researched and will do this learning do this researching of these topics on their own along with taking up tasks that he or she might be interested with people will definitely take into consideration the fact that you are still learning you are still an sd1 and as a result you are allowed to do mistakes you are allowed to ask questions as much as possible because at this point in time the company expects you to put in additional effort on your own so that you can ramp up the learning jaldi se jaldi padhai kar sakte ho jaldi se cheeze samajh sakte ho and correspondingly can contribute in a much much better manner for a lateral higher sd1 however the expectation is a bit more yahan pe ye zarur expect kiya jata hai ki since aapke paas thoda experience already hai aap us experience ko kaise na kaise apne day to day work mein kaam mein laoge as a result you are expected to be a lot more independent with respect to solving issues with respect to debugging problems that you are facing from a work perspective generally uh, the rules and expectation is that aapko work exactly outline karke diya jayega with what all things needs to be done and all you need to focus on is appropriately turning the algorithm into production ready code as a result jo interviews bhi honge na wahan pe bahut zyada stress kiya jata hai to this fact that whether or not you are able to write production ready code but ek baat to tay hai ki agar aap sirf aur sirf जो एक्सपेक्टेशन है उसी को सिर्फ मीट करते हैं देन यू विल सून फॉल बिहाइंड द पैक टू गेट प्रोमोटेड टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल दैट इज टू द लेवल ऑफ एन एस डी टू यू नीड टू स्टार्ट शोइंग मोर ओनरशिप ऑन द वर्क दैट यू आर डूइंग खुद से जाके ज्यादा काम मांगना है यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द पेन पॉइंट ऑफ द टीम एंड करस्पॉन्डिंगली सजेस्ट एंड इम्प्लीमेंट मेथड्स इम्प्लीमेंट थिंग्स सो दैट ऑल ऑफ दोज पेन पॉइंट्स आर एलिवेटेड एज मच एज पॉसिबल अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वन ऑफ द कोर 
most important thing that you need to do as an SD1 so that you can get promoted to the level of an SD2 is that you need to have very good design skills, both low level design as well as high level design. Now we will talk about SD2 ke liye. and I always say, I always say the expectation out of an SD1 is remarkably different than that of an expectation out of an SD2. Typically speaking, the bar of entry for SDE2 is relatively higher than that of an SDE1. As a result, because of a higher difficulty in entering these companies, the expectation out of you is also relatively higher. Not only this, the years of experience required to get into the SD2 level is typically somewhere between two years, two and a half years of experience to somewhere around six to seven years of experience. From an SD2 standpoint, right, the expectation is that you will almost not require any hand holding while you are getting onboarded to the team while you have just joined the company. It doesn't mean that you will not be given a mentor. It doesn't mean that you will not be given anybody with whom you can discuss. Definitely these all things will be there, but the expectation from them as well will be that you will not require the said hand holding, which was kind of, you know, required as a must for an SD intern, which was kind of you know, deemed to be required for an SD1 but for an SD2 not at all. Uh, you need to be much 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 more independent as an SD2 because of the level of ambiguity uh, that is present in the work that you do on a day-to-day -day basis. The expectation also revolves around the fact that uh, as an SD2 bulk of your work will go into designing large-scale systems into understanding the user requirement conversing with people uh, influencing them on the basis of the technology that you have and designing and implementing solutions. Generally as an SD2, your level of influence should also go beyond your team. Generally, as an SD2, you will become uh, service owners. There will be multiple, you know, set services under you for which you will be uh, solely responsible for the health of them, for understanding different use cases and correspondingly rectifying any issues if present. As an SD2, you are expected to be much, 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 much more independent. Aapko day one se hi, uh, bade bade design projects mein dhakeel diya jayega and you have to swim through all of that turbulent water. Uh, now coming to an SD3. So SD3 also known as senior software engineer in many of the companies is a very senior role. Uh, in many of the companies, this is the terminal role, which essentially means that if you get promoted at this level, you will most likely uh, either move away from the company or retire in the company at this particular level itself. You get the next promotion is much, 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 much more difficult than all of the previous promotions combined. Ab hi ek, uh, as an SD3, right? Uh, your level of influence, your level of uh, scope should not be limited to the two, three teams that your manager manages. In fact, it should be. Uh, it should reach well beyond that and correspondingly positively impact other people present. As an SDC, your level of experience, your level of influence and scope should not get limited to just your team or just a couple of teams under your managers. But in fact, it should spread across the org. You should be able to influence other people from other team uh, from their tech decisions point of view and correspondingly rectify whenever and wherever necessary. As an SD3, the expectation is that you will not require any hand-holding whatsoever. It does not mean that nobody will tell you if you ask. Obviously, people will tell you. But people, people will definitely frown upon you if you keep on asking the most basic of the questions because, the exp because of the bare minimum expectation about each and every candidate. As an SD3, it is kind of expected that you will be the de facto tech leader of the entire organization, if not the team. As you see, right, the expectation increases dramatically as one moves from SD intern to that of an SD3 level. You can interview crack karna is the easy part. But after cracking the interview, you need to basically succeed in that particular role. And many times I have seen that people hastily take these decisions to get interviewed at a higher level, get themselves converted, uh, get the job offer, start in the company and then fail miserably. So you need to understand whether or not all of the expectations that I have set forward right now, whether or not you are able to do those properly and if you are then go ahead for that particular level apart from that apart from that from a work perspective as well jo kaam tumko milega, that will be very 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 ambiguous in nature the level of ambiguity that an sd3 handles is much 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 higher than that of an sd2 i really hope uh, that this video will prove to be very useful for you in order to understand that from an hiring manager perspective from an uh, engineering manager perspective ki aakhir, uh, jo bhi bandha, jo bhi bandhi, mere team mein aata hai, 
या आती है उनसे क्या बेयर मिनिमम एक्सपेक्टेशन मेरी होंगी मेरे टीम की होंगी या इन जनरल इन बिग टेक कंपनीज होती है I really hope you found this video interesting. If you did, then comment in the section below uh, what more different kinds of videos you would want me to make. I will gladly make them. If you liked it, then smash the like button. The like target is one point five thousand likes. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Kis ka intezar kar rahe ho and share this video among your friends and peers because it will definitely help them quite a lot. This is your host Somyajit. Bidding goodbye. Das Vidhanya.